Hello. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, a point known as instantaneous center of rotation. And its acronym is I for instantaneous and C for center. This point is also known as instantaneous center of zero velocity. And typically it's denoted by letter C or IC. So this uh, point, uh, once you locate this point, and I'm going to talk uh, in a few minutes about the location of this point. First I'm going to define it, and then I'm going to talk about how we can locate this point. Uh, so this point is used as a shortcut, as a graphical approach for the problems involving rigid bodies that are, that are going through combination of translation and rotation. So this type of motion is referred to as general plane motion. So general plane motion is a motion which is part translational motion and part rotation. So you see in this picture below, the body is shown in blue is a rigid body. Imagine this rigid body is going through combination of translation and rotation. Here the rotation is shown with omega. Omega is the angular speed going clockwise. And uh, we kind of freeze the motion at one instant and we try to locate a point known as the instantaneous center. What's the significance of this point? The significance of this point is that once you locate this point, and this is, remember, and kind of like an imaginary point, it could be on the body, it could be off the body. In this case, actually, it's shown to be off the body, and I'm going to call it point C. Now, once you locate this point, velocity of this point, because it becomes the center of rotation, is equal to zero. Now, as I said, the significance of this point is that once you locate this point, then it means that the body instead of going through translation, translational motion and rotational motion, it's going through actually just pure rotation. So it's rotating about the axis that is going through point C at this instant. So you can forget about the translation and then you just concentrate on rotation. So basically to just show you and make, uh, make sure you could visualize the motion, I'm going to extend the body as if the body is larger. So this is now our body like that. And I'm going to make this point C now the pivot point. So you could see that C is the center of rotation. So now visualize as if this whole body is rotating about an axis that is passing through C into the board, perpendicular to C into the board or coming out of the board. Rotating what? Clockwise. So once this becomes the center of rotation, then finding velocity of a point on this body becomes very easy because in rigid body pure rotation, velocity of a point, in this case, let's say you want to find velocity of A, simply would be R times omega. R is the radius. Radius is defined as the distance between the center of rotation, which is point C or IC, to point A. Here is shown as R A slash IC, radius of A relative to IC, instantaneous center, or point C. So in this case, R is simply this distance. And now look, velocity is R times omega. That gives you the magnitude of the velocity. And the direction of the velocity has to be 90 degrees. As you could see, there's a 90 degree angle. And then velocity is acting in the direction of omega. So that's why it's a shortcut. Once you locate this point, then you're all set. You don't have to worry about translation because we know there are other methods such as relative motion where the problem is broken into part translational and part rotational. So let me now move to the next page and show you how you can locate this point. So now our objective is to how to locate the instantaneous center. So I'm going to just draw a rigid body again, just in an arbitrary shape. Now imagine that this rigid body is rotating with some angular speed and at the same time it's translating. So it's translating, let's say, 
down, up, whatever direction. Uh, so what do we need in general to locate the instantaneous center, this imaginary point, this imaginary axis that passes through this point? Well, you need basically velocity of two points on the body. So I'm going to pick two points, point A, let's say here, and then point B, let's say here. And then what I need is velocity of two points. So let's say velocity of A is given to be like that. So that's VA. And velocity of B is given to be like this at this instant. So then how do you locate the instantaneous center once you have velocity of two points? It's very simple. All you have to do is to draw perpendicular lines to the velocity of A at A. So that would be like that. Remember 90 degrees. And to the velocity of B at B. The point of intersection becomes the instantaneous center. So let me actually show you that. Now, this is now the pivot point, as if the body is rotating about this point, and that point is called instantaneous center, which I just call it C. So by definition, velocity of that point is equal to zero because it becomes the center of rotation. Remember, you have to draw two perpendicular lines, one at A, uh, and one at B, okay, and the point of intersection becomes the IC. Now, the significance of this point is that now you're saying that the body is in pure rotation about the axis that passes through C. The motion is no longer part translation, part rotation. It is, but then by finding or locating this point, the motion becomes just pure rotational. Then in pure rotation, figuring out velocity of different points is very easy. So for example, here velocity of A is R omega, what is R from the center to the point? So CA times omega. And similarly, velocity of B would be R, but different R from the center to the point times omega. And remember, velocities, they have to be 90 degrees to the radius. And that's actually what we use to figure out the location of the instantaneous center. So in the next videos, I will show you some examples. And I will also show you some special cases that we could have. What if the velocities are parallel in the same direction or in the opposite direction? So we look at those cases. Thanks.